Hello, hello, and welcome to Opening Escrow. You're probably watching this because you're getting ready to open an escrow. That's so exciting. Congratulations. It's a big stinking deal, right? Let me show you what you need to do next. So when you go to open an escrow, it is hypercritical that you send out that introductory email as soon as you get that contract signed. As soon as there is acceptance from both the buyer and the seller, get that puppy out to the title and escrow company. I'm going to tell you who else we're going to send out this email to, but first I'm going to share my screen so that you can see what I'm talking about. All righty, fantastic. So as you can see here, I have this email opened up and ready to go. I like to have this email saved as a template. That way, it just makes it so much easier for when you do start getting a ton of escrows at once, which you will, you're going to be able to just pop out this email really, really quickly. So it's important to send it out to the lender, the escrow officers, and anyone else that's involved in the transaction. Let's say that there's a lawyer or a financial planner. If anyone has asked to be included in this email, please send it to them. A good example is a Merrill Lynch financial planner. I just recently had one where we had to include him in all correspondence. So if there's someone else that's specific to this, you'll want to send it to them. But typically it's just the lender, escrow officer, and TCs. A lot of escrow officers and lenders also have their own assistants. So you'll want to make sure to send it to them as well. Now, Something that's incredibly critical too is that we are only sending the purchase agreement and counter offers. In the introductory email to the title and escrow company, there should be absolutely no disclosures sent with it as well. Essentially, anything that you put into the RPA, you're gonna be sending that out. So let's say that you included the statewide seller and buyer advisory or the market conditions advisory, you can send those as well. But under no circumstance should you be sending inspections or a full packet of your offer packet out in this. Please don't do that. If that happens, the lender may ask for some things to be fixed, or they may simply walk away from the deal. So as you can see here, um, the template that I have is just opening escrow and then the property address. It's critical that we send out the property address, the sales price. Um, if it's not a single family residence, make sure to let title and escrow know, hey, this is a condo, a townhome, a duplex, a commercial property, whatever it may be. You'll also, like I said, send out the full property address, uh, names and contact information. So when I put together this um, email, I always like to say, hey, I am this person and I am representing the buyers. This is their names. In a separate email, I'll also introduce the buyers that I'm representing for this transaction and the title and escrow officers. That way, the buyers know who to contact when they need to contact Title and Escrow. And Title and Escrow is also going to have your buyer's contact information in that introductory email. Your client's private phone numbers, email addresses, that kind of information should not be going out in this email. That's going to be for a separate email, okay? Um, like I said, you're going to include that purchase agreement, counter offers, any addendums that were in, in place also when those offers came back. You'll want to send that as well. Uh, let's say that this one has got a bit of a funky commission structure. Let's say instead of the 2.5% that we typically see across the board, we're only going to be getting 2%. Or if we've got a really generous agent, hey, title and escrow, just a heads up, this commission's actually based on a 3% split to both sides, 3% to buyer side, 3% to listing side. That way you get paid the right amount. 
If there's an HOA, and this is the first time that these folks are being made aware of it, you'll also wanna include that information. For now, let's look at what else is gonna be included here. How many days it's gonna to take to close, if there's gonna be a home warranty and who that home warranty provider is gonna be. As I was saying, you're gonna CC all these folks. So I, again, in this example, I'm representing the buyers. I'm including the listing agent. And if I know their TC, I'm gonna include that in here too. If my buyer is working with a lender, I'll include them in there. Some lenders do have assistants, so please make sure to ask your lender if they do have an assistant and what their email address is so that you can include it in here as well. The escrow officer and their assistant will be included, and then our transaction coordinator should be included in this. And then again, you just want to, you know, start off the escrow really great and uh, wish everyone a smooth escrow, right? So this is the basic structure of opening escrow. Sometimes the seller is going to have an escrow where there's a trust or they've already ordered HOA documents or there's a 1031 exchange. If that's the case, you'll wanna be using um, the same escrow that's already opened with a pre-escrow. Sometimes that's the case. Typically though, it is up to the buyers who they'll have representing them as their title and escrow officer. So when it comes to those um, specific and sensitive um, processes, you'll wanna make sure to reach out to your mentor and find out what action steps should be next. Um, let's see here. Oh, most importantly, make sure that you've got folks saved in your phone. So that let's say um, I'm using Old Republic Home Protection, I want to make sure to have their phone number and contact information saved on their phone. That way, if I am out, you know, um, with family or something, and I'm expecting an urgent phone call, I'll have their information and I'll know. Oh, can't miss that call. Going to make sure to pick that up. So that does it for opening escrow. Hope you found it super easy. Uh, if you need a template, go to Slack. There are templates there for you to set up your own template to open escrow. Have a smooth escrow.